Hello, this is Yo-sensei. In this video, we will cover how to create a file for CNC milling. CNC milling is a great digital fabrication tool which can translate your digital model into a physical object. You can use the milled object to create a mold and do various things. There are several points that you need to keep in mind to produce a proper STL file. We will go over some of the instances of errors and how to fix them. Okay, let's get to it. So first, uh, we have this uh, object uh, on this layer. Uh, you can actually download uh, this file from the description section. So we have this file that has uh, several uh, detached uh, surfaces. So you can select all of them and join. And uh, so this one is perfectly aligned with uh, a bounding box. So uh, we need to create a closed um, polysurface object, what you can do is to uh, always keep on uh, object snapping uh, and endpoint and uh, draw a box on the bounding box, um, three box on the bounding box. And uh, then uh, for the joint surface, you can split the uh, bounding box, uh, the newly created box with the surface and then you can uh, take it out and then you can join them together. Uh, make sure to show the uh, property box on the right side uh, and uh, make sure it says closed solid poly surface. Okay, so that would be the first one. For the second one, uh, when you have a situation where uh, your file is slightly out of the bounding box and then small. So what you need to do is to uh, join uh, again all of them. And then make sure to scale this one up so that all of the surfaces are slightly outside of the bounding box, okay, uh, on both uh, X and Y uh, and Z uh, axis. So now what you can do is to create another uh, 3D box uh, here. And then first split the box uh, with this object, uh, surface object. And then again, split, okay. And also split the, this continuous surface with the bounding box. So you can cut out what's outside of the bounding box uh, and then you can delete it. You can sell curve and hide. Okay, so now uh, we have a perfectly bounded uh, box here. So you can just join them. And uh, then if you check it, uh, it, it is closed uh, solid poly surface. So that's good. Third instance is that when you have a situation where uh, when your object is not closed, uh, open poly surface. So uh, we need to find uh, the, where it is open and close it. So in order to do that, you can select this object and type um, show edges command and then uh, click on the naked edges and uh, so it will show you where the naked edge is. Okay, so in this case, we have this edge that is uh, not closed. So uh, what we can do is to um, dupe edge uh, and in this case, this one and this one. Uh, and uh, so we have these two, two edges that are, um, you know, open. So we can either loft or uh, run edge surf command to create a surface that is uh, around this opening. Uh, and then select this and then join them. Okay, now this one is closed uh, solid poly surface. Okay. So make sure uh, to find openings and then close it. Okay, the last one that we have is uh, we have some uh, solid objects here. Uh, and um, so these are uh, all, all solid object, but it doesn't have the bottom side of it. So what we can do is we need to uh, go ahead and delete all of the bottom faces. So uh, what you can do is select it and explode. And uh, so you can just go ahead and then delete uh, all of the uh, object uh, faces below. And uh, don't make sure that you don't miss any of these faces. And uh, 
spaces. on the side so I should have kept it or no it is on the top so I need it. so make sure that you are not missing a tiny surface uh, like that here okay so I think we're good so join again and um, and then uh, join again so now we have this continuous open uh, body surface. Now what we want to do is we have both side faces. Uh, so we want to create, make, uh, make this one slightly bigger so that we can trim out the side faces as, again as well. Uh, in this case, we have some imperfections here and there. So, um, so that we can just, you know, uh, get rid of some of the errors. So um, in this case, what we can do is to um, take this uh, 3D box and uh, again, split the box with, uh, with the surface and then split the surface with, with the box. So we can just trim out what's outside of the box. So this is clean. Uh, faces and then join them and uh, then it will become a closed solid poly surface. Um, I think some of these are um, also created by splitting so uh, you can just uh, delete that. So this one is very clean uh, solid surfaces surface. Um, so now we have all of these uh, solid objects. Okay the final step in this is to just export this, uh, these objects as STP step file. So you can select uh, one of these and then go to file, export selected, and then choose uh, dot STP or step, step file. And then create file name. And then save uh, export and uh, you can just use the default option for that uh, ap203 config control design is fine okay so this is uh, the way to export uh, the step file and uh, you should be able to submit this file to uh, whoever is going to produce cnc um, i hope this methodology is going was is going to be helpful for you uh, see you in the next video thank you